welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I am going to kind of file and remove some of the buildup on my nails. They're starting to need a fill. So I'm going to use my Melody Susie drill. I don't know exactly what drill bit this is, but this is what I'm using. <clears throat> So I'm just keeping the barrel even to my nail, parallel to my nail. I'm not pressing down. I'm just gently letting it glide over. And I never stay in one spot too long because you don't want the, the friction because it will cause heat. And I'm mostly trying to get where it looks like it's really uneven. And as a disclaimer, I'm not a nail technician. I'm just a DIY at home nail person. And so this is what I do. You should always do your own research, educate yourself before using any of these products. I stop frequently, look at my nail, and there may, may be some areas I need to go in with a smaller bit or a even a hand file. I'm going to continue filing the rest of these nails and I'm going to stop talking now and just go ahead and let you watch. I'll be back in a few minutes when I'm done.
lifting. So I'm not done, I need to finish, but I'm gonna finish cleaning them up off camera so it'll be faster. Okay, my nails are all filed, cuticles pushed back and cleaned up, and I've decided to, I've cleaned up underneath as well, and I've decided to go with a little bit of a different shape this time, as you can see. I haven't done this in yet, that's why it's still kind of pink looking. Still working on just the one. So, I am going to be using the Bling Galleria. I'm going to use their primer, their pH bond, and their Catriona. It's their clear rubber base coat. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I always got to look because I can't ever remember which is which. All right, so you go in with the pH bond first. So... I always do my thumb first because you put it in the lamp by itself. So I think the pH bond is a dehydrator. So I have the little instructions that they send right here. I've used it before, but not enough to remember the steps every time. So you air dry the pH bond for 30 seconds, and then you do the primer for 60 seconds. So that was the pond. And I turned my lamp on just to use the timer, just because I'm terrible with time. All right. And this is a thin consistency, so they do suggest being careful not to get it on your skin. That orange, I have filed on top, underneath, everything, and I cannot get it out. It was acrylic paint that I was using at work, and I just, I cannot get it out. It's been there forever. All right, so I'm going to let this air dry for 60 seconds. And Bling Galleria has some really nice products. So this is just their clear rubber base. So I was gonna do a builder gel fill, but I decided not to. I decided to go with rubber base. Since I already have this structure of the um, Builder Gel on. So I was talking, so I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of wiped off most of the product. And I'm just going in kind of with a thin layer, avoiding my skin. I just want to make sure I do have a little bit of leakage right there. You want to make sure if you do get on any on your skin, this is with all gel products, you wipe it up right away. Get it off before you cure. Okay, so that's just my first layer. I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. 
And again, I always do my thumb first because when you put your whole hand in the lamp, it's kind of at a weird angle. So I do my thumb separately. All right. There we go. It's all cured. And now we're going to go in with us some more. So you just hold it up do upside down for a few seconds to kind of let it level. And go ahead and cure that. And to finish my thumb, I'm gonna go in with Bling Gallery, a strong top coat. They also have a um, rubber top, which is super cool. It's really thick and it, um, It's so good for encapsulating like stickers or anything that's raised that you might not want to feel that texture on. Hmm. I'm just using a dry cotton swab. That looks good. Put that in the lamp. All right, thumb down. And I still have some old glitter right there that I didn't manage to file off either. So that was the pH bond. That's air dry for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with the acid free primer. And that's air dry for 60 seconds. I'm doing clear because I want to do some more manicures on myself and I find if I want to do something light, the other colors tend to alter. Oh, that was that was super messy. Well, I guess it wasn't too bad. Just right there on the one side wall, and well.
upside down for a few seconds. And then I am going to flash cure it for 10 seconds just to hold it in place while I do, I'm gonna do each nail the first layer, cure for 10 seconds and move on. And then I'll do a few full cure on all of them and then go back with the second layer. So this now, I really should be um, putting a form on and building it back out, uh, but I don't want to. I just, don't feel like doing that right now, so it's going to stay a little wonky. And I know a lot of people, when they're doing this, they, they don't really brush it on like polish like I'm doing. They do the swishing back and forth to bring it down the nail. Um, but I'm not very good at that. So I do what works for me and kind of just paint it on like regular polish just a little bit different works for me so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what works i never have a problem with lifting or any other issues doing it my way so that's how i will continue to do it I really love these little pointy cotton swabs. I think they're considered eyelash swabs. They work really well for dry cleaning around your cuticles. This is another nail where I really should have a form one to build out those sides, especially that side. You see how I broke, broke it and I just keep filing it. I'm trying to get the right angle so that I'm in frame and doing a decent job here. So now I'm going to put all of them in the lamp for the full 60 seconds now. Ooh, drop my glasses. All right. And the first layer is cured. And that's what they're looking like. So let's go with a... Second layer.
So here we go. They're not perfect. They're not all exactly the same shape and look. Doing this shape is a little bit different and this nail and this nail are the two that were messed up anyway, so they're a little misshapen. But I don't think they look too bad. I think they'll look better once they're um, painted. I might need to file this one up. I think um, I I think I got a little too much of on the around the edges, and it kind of rounded it out a little bit. And also, my real nails underneath are kind of throwing it off from like the the really clear tip. So from like down here, you really can only see my nails. So, yeah. So that whole process took less than 45 minutes, although this video will be edited down, so it'll be even less because I'm going to cut out all the cure in time and everything, but, and when I did my final cure for each layer, I did do a two minute cure instead of just one. And then when I did my top coat, I also did a two minute cure on that. So yeah, so that's those. I'm going to move on to the other hand, but I'm going to do that off camera. So um if you like this video, hit the like button, share, comment below, and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.